there, everyone, and welcome back to TNO, The Last Days of Europe. I'm your host, Mr. Mokulover. All right, now, we have to talk about the conquest of Norway. Not so long ago, when the Reich was in the chaos of the Civil War, the Norwegians betrayed the Reich and declared their so-called independence. Such a meaningless act was doomed to be in vain, for Nordic brothers could never protect themselves without the big old Reich's benevolent rule. The only problem is that it takes many of their bloods and lives to realize that such an easy fact when our Wehrmacht returned to the land. And now, their fate is on our hands once again. It's obvious that the previous administration of Norway, established in 1940, proved to be a total failure. For the Norwegians never truly acknowledged our regime as the well as the Reich as a Vaterland. Such a mistake cannot be repeated anymore. The newly established Reichskommissar at Scandinavien, led by Heinz Jörg Lem, will ensure that Norway stays an inseparable part of the Reich forevermore. Now, another dramatic nation is reclaimed by the Reich, and under the genius leadership of our big papa f daddy, soon we shall bring unity and glory to the whole Aryan Reich. This time, the Swastika flag, which proudly flies in front of the Slotet, will shall never fall again. Welcome back, my rebellious little brother. And I'll talk about that in a little bit. Negotiation with the infamous. So, you've come. Good, the Reich will not forget you and your loyalty, says the German delegates. He is sent by the Reich to contact the remaining members of the National Front in England and give them secret orders from Germania. And we're deeply appreciated by the kindness you bring, says an old man with a haggard face. Obviously, he's in great stress these days. So what may I do for you? The old man continues in a worrying but still expecting voice. You know, we're having a bad time in recent days. In fact, we're eager to see the return of your people. But sadly, as allies of Germany, we've lost all of our influence in England, and most people just wish to shoot bullets directly into our heads. So I'm afraid there's really not too much we can do for, uh, do for the Reich. Don't worry, my friend, said the German, as he smiles. As you may have known, the Reich is about to return to England in a few weeks. For now, you and your people are the only ones we can trust in England. You may think that there's nothing you can do, but I can assure you, the Big Daddy does have his use for you, and all you need to do is keep contacting with us and following our commands, and I'm sure you will earn everything back in the old days. For the Anglo-German friendship. Well, most English people earn their sweet dreams, at first they're a cloud since the fall of the collaborative government rises from this small church. And soon, they will continue their work their whole beloved motherland. We should not forget our old pals. So, uh, over here, we have military demands. Pretty typical. We have 73 days to conquer England, and our guys are pretty much ready to go, so I'm not too worried about that. Um, we can save off the inevitable. So we can loot Switzerland, but it would hurt our ability to integrate the Swiss, which I want to integrate people. If we can integrate them, we're going to do it. Just like the Dutch. Integrate Volnia. I'm not sure how to pronounce that, but we can do that one. Why we will focus on integrating Austin, but due to this, we'll be unable to further loot the former Axis Commissariat. So we'll do that one. But because it increases the power and influence, we can loot the Balkans. Okay, it increases the loyalty and the power, so okay. Um, Scandinavia hurts our stability, but we get more civilian investment and more German worker participation and a little more money, hopefully. Uh, Ukraine, sure. And Muscovine. Yay! And the GWRI, that doesn't seem to be really interesting to me right now, so not worried about it. And what do we have over here? Um, Republic of India? Well, we need less stuff for now. Eleven? We have four. That sucks. Why Why does that suck so much? What is Sufas Africa doing? Cool. Conquest of Norway. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Looking a little better here as well, as we're still trying to make a bigger, massive, more huge army and navy. I'll be honest, I cannot remember at the time of this recording what I read last, so I do apologize. We do need to get down to this one as fast as possible so we can get less stability loss. Cause and weekly manpower loss, which is really bad for us because of all the Swiss stuff, but not out of use. The National Front may expect to be gifted control of England when all is said and done. This will not happen, as an inexperienced, uncultured gang of thugs should not be left in charge of a country. Thugs have their uses, however. Garrisoning half of Europe takes men, and the Front certainly will have experience marching the streets. They will supplement a government rather than form their own. Their own. Uh, granted, administration and policing roles. Uh, oh, they will have, rather than form their own granted administration and policing roles and allow to keep the peace. There is this one. Yeah, I think I read this one last time. Um, I could be wrong, though, but, you know, big old fascist friends are few and far between England. Oswald Mosley, bless his heart, left for Canada when he realized we wouldn't let him have his own fiefdom, and that's what left of the British Union of Fascists are more prone to side with the resistance than us. The only group willing to cooperate these days is the National Front. They not be, may not be very popular these days but due to be well-being. It's, it's best not said what the English say about them. We should meet with them nonetheless. They'll be vital in supporting our taking of the Isles. So after this one, we get this one. Well, we got to do this one immediately. Let the bombs fall, because we might need some time to actually take them out. So... Time has finally come. But to the Anglo, under the German boot, and put him under our boot again. Uh, using Cornwall as a springboard, probably not, we will dispose the English regime and bring in our trusty lackeys. Though London might seem difficult to reach at the moment, with our extensive disruption effort, the English opposition should be reduced. And as you see, like you saw earlier, we don't have that long. We really don't have long. We can send Ireland an ultimatum, so um, I'll do that as soon as England is done. So we are running out of time. Which I am starting to get a little worried about. Not super worried about, but also we did get the fleet. The, the, we get It was an event, we just got the fleet, so. And these we got 88 ships. So I already 
as you see, you split them into four equal groups. Two carriers, a battleship, three heavy cruisers. Two carriers, a ba battleship, two other cruisers. Basically the same thing, but two battleships, two heavy cruisers, and one carrier. And this one has a carrier, two battleships, and two heavy, cru heavy cruisers. I honestly, at this point, prefer heavy cruisers. Well, I prefer battleships over carriers. Carriers are just, they're okay, they're not great. And remember, we're trying to save fuel for when we actually do go to war. Alright, so we just finished up support weapon 5. I think we'll just keep going with whatever we can get through here first, because that's usually pretty good. Uh, additionally, let's start another focus. Because move like lightning, that's not bad. Speed and armor attack is pretty good. Raise the city looks pretty good as well. The second surrender. Um, I think I want to go with phase 4 cleanup first, though. Finally, it's over. The dragon lies dead at her feet, and its horde is open for the taking. Though the blood of Germany's sons runs through the passes and rivers, it's more than made up for in both gold and prestige already. The economy is seeing a rise, and the people of Germany celebrate that their foe is vanquished. It's now time to clean up the remains of the resistance while scrounging up any coin we can find, after all. That was the main purpose of the attack, and it would be quite the waste to lose some. Cool. Since you're here, we're going to go out immediately. Go in the water. We're going to lose... We're going to run out of fuel so fast here. That's why, as you see here, I'm trying to build a ton of refineries. Maybe not a ton, but quite a bit. So, because we're going to go on ASAP, ASAP, ASAP. Come on, baby boys. Well, I'm, I know we can do well here. Come on, come on, come on. And the damn's done. And the world's going to go kaboom. Let's go, let's go. And we got some comments to go through as well. I don't want to forget about comments. All right, after that, um, I, like, I don't want to lose any more manpower. I really don't. We can either do occupation... Increase the loyalty, power, and influence of the these guys because short will take control off Switzerland or of Switzerland to neutralize the guerrilla forces or integration. Extra effort shall be put in integrating the Swiss people into the Reich. I like that one a lot, but we're going to probably do this one next. The cowardly, tre treacherous Swiss are doing what they have always done to the proud sons of Germany. Though they greet soldiers with smiles and greetings, behind their backs they pass around rifles and ammo, ready to strike against their glorious rule. Some things never change, it seems. We must train our soldiers to recognize these masks of friendliness. They will know how to look for the four smiles, the glassy eyes, the nervous ticks. There will be no hiding, and there will be no surprises. We will control Switzerland whether they like it or not. Come on, baby boy, we can land. I know we can. Oh, look at that. We found a little fleet here. Come on. I know we can land somewhere here. Oh, we got it. All we needed was one spot. And we just did... Actually, I, I might have shown you this one, but actually, we, we're going to be going this way. Just because more hit chance and naval speed gain. Um, and we get some more screen defense, too. Oh, we... The English Navy cannot stand up to us. Look at that. Oh, we've landed. Oh, we've landed. Oh, that's good. That's so good. Um, I do want to evade these guys, too. Oh, wow. Look at this. They lost seven destroyers. I mean, obviously their fleet's not very good, but still. Oh, we landed again. Nice. Get in the Cambridge. Get over here too. Help them out. Help them out. Help them out. Oh, baby boy. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Help them out. Help them out. When in doubt, help them out. Uh, since you're here, anyways, I want you to come up here too. It's going to be really bad for supply, but that's okay for now, because these guys, these guys are all going to die. We got them. Oh, wait, they all landed successfully. We got it. A full successful landing, my friends. Full su successful landing of England. A England and Wales. I should say there, too. Ah, uh, so that's their navy here. Look at that. We're damaging them a little bit, but... Ooh, ooh, look at that task force. Oh, okay, some convoys. We lost some planes. It's, it's fine. You know, we're here to lose... We can lose some planes. Was it really... We just made another carrier. Not bad. So every group needs at least one carrier. So we all have at least one. So throw another one in because you can. Baby, go. Baby, go. Baby, go. Oh, you can't win. Darn it. And of course, some of these transport planes are not very good, but still. They do have a little bit of English armor, but at the same time, it's not going to be enough. It's uh, They're just getting overran. And we're losing... Not that... We're... 130,000 have already died. I mean, that's... Oh. <sighs> By the time these guys arrive, we will we, we win the war, right? We have about a month left. Oh, Muscovine. Oh, we didn't do Muscovine yet? Military industrial participation will increase. Yes, please. We've been able to extract 2 billion uh, marks, or what do we call them here? I'm not sure what that really does for us, though. It is, do we get that as money? We don't get as liquid reserves, so I'm not sure what we can do about that. Stays for cleanup. And recognizing danger. Oh, nothing there. Oh, good. Destroy sunk. Good, good, good. Oh, that's not... Eh, that's going okay. Keep going, guys. Keep going. Within a month left, I just want to make sure we actually did this successfully, so... That was my main concern. The conquest of 
England and Wales. Today, when Londoners walk out, they notice that the old flag over Buckingham Palace was gone, replaced by a familiar flag of the German Reich alongside the Thames. Spots of rain keep splattering on the pavement. The only sound can be heard is the sound of German patrol footsteps and the voices of Big Ben. In the streets, broadcast is announcing the old regime is no more, replaced by the Reichskommissariat Britannien, established by the Reich directly. Though most people have been familiar with changes of regime in recent decades, the atmosphere in the city is still an odd sense it's an odd place since it is the first time in a thousand years that England is ruled, both in name and fact, by a power, foreign power from their homeland. Or power foreign from their homeland. In some remote bars, people gather to drink for everything in their memories and saying God to the king together for the last time in their lives. From now on, the history of England will walk into a new chapter. While the whole of England remains silent and melancholy, the Downing Street, now the HQ of German occupation force, is now overwhelmed by cheers and the last victory. The second operation of Sea Lion is seen as the greatest victory after the German Civil War, and a great proof of the Wehrmacht's power. Now, the officers is holding or are holding the celebration party to welcome the arrival of their new leader, and the Reichskommissar they're waiting for is General Franz Halder. Invalid event with ID Goring dot triple X. Okay, well, screw the British Navy. So since you guys are still here, and we actually took some pretty heavy casualties in some of these places, which is really bad. It is what it is. We're at peace now, which is great. So you guys did a great job. We actually got some naval XP. Look, look how much naval XP we got. Look at all the. Wow. That's a lot of naval XP. What happened here? Ah, oh, just a port strike. That's okay. Um, take it off. <laughs> when in doubt, take it off. But do that first. Oh, what happened here? Nice. Very nice. Because we have no fuel left, which sucks. Switzerland, Balk Balkans? Can we do that again? Does that even do anything if we get money? I don't understand. So, General Franz Halde. We did it. And we're going to send Ireland now an ultimatum. That's weird. Also, there's some sort of super event, apparently, like... That you guys want to know or hear about? I, I'll try if we can do it. Maybe I've never seen that flag before. Holy crap! Cool. The sword of Damocles. Stabilizing regime. Very good. Very good. Seven factories. Very nice. Oh, I feel good about this, man. I feel quite good. We got it done. But we're gonna send the ultimatum. Decrease the load to the militaries by a small amount. Pretty much. Ireland accepts, of course. Good news from the Emerald Isle. It seems that the Irish have seen that the Reich is truly the greatest thing to happen to them and have been willingly accepted back integration. Well, willingly accepted integration back into the Reich. You made the right choice. Nice. Are you truly back? Ah, oh, they are. Very good. Very, very good. All right, boys. So we didn't do too bad here. I do. We do need to take out Dune Hammer Gaming's grandparents here. Um, but one thing that we do need to do, like, I really want to talk about, is making these guys better. And you guys are tankies, so not bad on some planes, so. Um, yeah, not bad. Really, really not bad at all. I was thinking about something here. here. I mean, a couple comments. Someone says, when are you going to play TNO Greece? I'll probably, I, I, at this point, I'm going to play as every single nation in Greece, at least, in Greece, in TNO at least once. So, someday, when they get content, I promise I'll play as them. I'll probably play as them like three or four different times, depending on how many paths they have, so. Oh, move like lightning. If you want to about that, please go right ahead. If you want to about raise the cities, please go right ahead. I knew we didn't need that. I mean, our guys are pretty good, but still. So after this one, uh, Swiss force will be moved to our southern border with the Italians. I do want to do integration and the second surrender. That would not be bad to have. Someone lower deserves a chance. Give hold a promotion. Strangle the partisans. Raid the vaults. Case Sadek. Infiltrate Scotland. Oh, we're not done yet, though. Um, okay, so Lig Liger, Liger. Nothing bad here yet. I want to do integration next. The Swiss, disgusting traitors as they are, are still ethnically Germans, and therefore some of them are Aryan. These men were not inherently treasonous to the Reich. They have been simply misled by their leaders who hoped to destroy a revolution instead of treating them as we would treat them the, as a standard Untermensch. We will give them special status. Perhaps if they work for the Führer long and hard enough, we will formally, formally appoint them as Aryans. Nice. I just don't want to move too fast. Oh, public concern, military concern. It's not bad. Not bad. I just want enough time so we don't have to rush anything. I really don't have to rush anything here. After integration, the second... Do we have to do this one immediately? Because if we... It doesn't seem like anything's going to happen here yet, so... I do still want to go to war with Romania. Okay, it's reestablishing the party. Most loyal collaborators. That's not bad. That's really not bad. Um, North Sea... Oh, that's like that. It is 68, of course. We've got to keep an eye on that. I want to kill off Romania. I really just want to kill off Romania. A traitor's fate. 
Everyone read that again, please. You are dead. I, 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 I have to go to war with them. I have to go to war with them. The best place to attack is right here. And I want you to literally drive a line from here to the port. Cut all these people off. I want you to just decimate these people. If you can. Alright, so so far it doesn't look like... If we don't do that... I don't know. I just really don't know. I'm waiting to do that thing about England here. So, I hope it delays it. I could, I'm probably wrong. I'm probably very wrong about this. But, back in business. New enemies. Cut ties with those who assisted us during this invasion. Now, collaborators in the high places. Segregated regiments. Alright, cool. Um, the Grip Titans. Gateway to the Balkans. Eh, we can get away on that. A dangerous foe. Mechanized attack. Well, we don't have a mechanized attack. 25. 25% 25 more artillery attack. Jesus. What? Words. With all of our new additions to the Reich, it's time to rethink our traditional way of doing things. Maybe our new subjects could be used for this. Russian mercenaries. Or tactical location. So soft attack from special forces and defense will go up. Which doesn't do anything. Air superiority will be nice. I like that. Test the Finnish Navy before we attempt to seize Island. This way we can also test the Finnish result to fight. Ooh, I like this one. I love that so much attack, though. I don't want to do this one, though. But air superiority is going to be extremely important when we fight America. Join the Pact or Perish. I'm going to do a tactical location. Finland is nothing more than jumping off point in the further conquest, and any who says otherwise is a fool. Their economy is pathetic, their army is but a group of old men with rifles and skis, and their air force is laughable in the face of the Luftwaffe. The Russians may have paid for their invasion in gallons of blood, but we in Germany know better than the Slavs. Our equipment, our numbers, and air superiority propel us to victory over any resistance that the Finns can muster. Unfortunately, while this position may be common among the Oba Commander, this is decidedly less common with the enlisted men. Some of the weaker willed men in our army seem to fear the fighting skill of the Finn, pathetic as it may be, simply because they are able to destroy the Judeo Bolshevik Slavs as any good European race should. This position, while it may be silly, could prove fatal to keep battles. Our men must have fear of the Finns drilled out of their heads and be replaced with the knowledge that they will obliterate the enemy. Then, and only then, will we be able to crush the Finns decisively. I know we have more divisions over here, but whatever. We should do okay without, you know, going crazy with them, right? Are you, you guys are already good. Just, just good. Hana Kushna? Huh, no girl with the last name Kushna. Hmm. Very good. Look at that manpower. And I don't want to just attack here because it's really bad. Call all of our allies in. There we go. Get every single one of these armies in. Yeah, they're not going to be able to hold. And if you want to be these, please go ahead. Boom, boom, boom. Doesn't matter. Anything here? Nope. Oh, baby, you're going to race down here. Get to the port. Get to the port. Take all the ports. Just take them all out. Get a, just, just go to Bucharest. And we've shown up there. And the the conquest of Romania. Bucharest surrenders. Our operation to secure the Romanian oil fields and bringing down the treacherous government of Bucharest has concluded successfully. In a radio broadcast, the government has announced to lay down their weapons, while some mid and low personnel has fled to the other countries to form a self-proclaimed government in exile. <clears throat> Meaningful resistance has ceased for the moment. General Hap, Arx Commissar for the Balkans is already on the way to review the state of the Polets. Poisty, poisty oil fields. As well as the industrial plants, Fear Goring is also requesting a thorough review of the museum. For now, though, we bask in the glory of victory. Die Donau ist Deutsch. Impending economic class. Well, that sucks. Oh, we can invade Bulgaria. Yay! Maybe I should have done this one first before clicking on that, but it's fine, whatever. Bulgaria, your time has come, my baby boy. I wonder why we couldn't see that earlier. Go, go, go. go. I might actually just invade uh, Sweden as well. Not Sweden, but Scotland through uh, land. Nope, nope. Seriously, is there any point to do that at all? I, I don't see anything there that we get. Medium approval. Power is high. Influence is very low. Averagely loyal to the German state. We might need to increase that a little higher. 75%. Influence is very low, though, so... That's good. A tactical location. Um, hmm. We do lose a, quite a bit. But we get more weekly stability for a year. 56 weeks. 56. Uh, that's not too bad, actually. Yeah, that's not bad, either. Second surrender? Let's wait for that. For now, maybe. Um, we got rid of them, which I love. Operation Peter? 
The current state of Serbia is increasingly problematic for GGR, for those who govern the region are no longer truly loyal to Germania, either seeking to expand the state's influence and permanently throw the shackles of national socialist dominance or manipulating us with their false words of comfort. Regardless of who rules over the country, they must be annihilated to ensure that the threat to our fatherland is permanently eliminated. Pretty much. Let's go in. I love a massive one Bulgarian state. Hey, research is doing great. Japanese folly. Who cares? No one cares. Do they even have an army? They have literally not an army. Wow. Ah, conquest of Bulgaria. Balkans? Um. I don't know. I think we're okay for now. Uh. Well, I like this one, though. Scandinavia? Yeah, why not? I'm not sure that it does anything, but we'll do it anyways. The recent fighting in Bulgaria has mercifully ended today as Tsar Simeon II officially signed a surrender with fear Hem and Goring of the Reich. The tragic irony is that this will no doubt be observed and opined on at length by international observers in the coming weeks, is that while Bulgaria could have had the capability to put up a fierce fight were it fully mobilized, its decade-long reliance on its allied Germany left it completely unprepared when its former master came calling. So, even with all of its military weaknesses, reports on the ground indicated that the soldiers of the Royal Bulgarian Army fought as well as anyone could have given their equipment and manpower shortages that would end up, end up fatally compromising them. The fall of Bulgaria represents the latest domino to be knocked over by the whirlwind force of nature that's been the German war machine under its bombastic new leader. Governance of Bulgaria's territory has been given over to the Reich's Commissariat of Balkanhalbensel, as was the case with the fellow Balkan victims, including the Kingdom of Romania. For all of the, uh, they turn out to be, it is what it is. I love having one gigantic... Oh, that's so beautiful. Oh, that's so good. I love it. Nice. Eh, no, that's not too bad, so. Um, who's next? Serbia? I'm down for the Serbs, man. We're all down for Serbs. Uh, how's our construction right now, too, anyways? Because I'm noticing this up here, and it's not going very well for us. Operation Painter. Um, we could kind of wait to do this up. I do want to do Finland, though. Maximize our air efficiency. That'd be super good to do. Due to the northern position that Finland occupies on the globe, daylight hours in the winter are scarce and short. As good as our planes are, their effectiveness does dramatically drop after nightfall, with crashes becoming regular occurrences while our bombers are regularly missing their targets. While the inverse of the situation is true in the summer months, where the daylight hours stretches for lengthy periods of time, our pilots and crews must be trained on how to maximize time in the air, squeezing out every bit of air time we can and maximizing the amount of ordnance we can drop upon the enemy. Or are our air powers key to victory in the situation and misuse of it may lead to long, bloody, painful civil war, of course. What do we have over here? Anything? Um, no, we're looking good there. 18. Oh! Fall Peta, collaborators and name only. Check their strategies. The military garbage chute. Um, production cost goes way down. Yeah, <laughs> give them all the crap stuff, huh? All right, helicopter assault. That's not bad. I like that. You brought this on yourself. Let me just go straight to war with them. The military fortress. Like sheep to the slaughter. Ooh. I like this one. I'm not going to read every single one of these that we're going to do. A time for, for military action has arrived. Indeed, Serbia's days are now numbered. Having betrayed the trust of the GGR, Serbia leaves us little choice but to be brought to heel for their unacceptable treachery against their betters. Although this war should be brutal, we must all remember that the Serbs have brought this on themselves and there's nothing but fire and fury. I don't care for too much of these. I mean, actually, it's not too bad. I think this one is okay to do because we have enough political power anyways. Those who currently govern Serbia aren't true collaborators. The individuals who currently rule are nothing but scum and their traitors to the GGR, who deserve to be annihilated for the betrayal and insolence towards the proud nation, the Fuhrer, who is indeed quite enraged by their disobedience, has ordered the commencement of a new anti-Serbian propaganda film or campaign to justify our coming military operation against the pathetic and furious Serbian people. Check the strategies. That's okay. If you want to read about that, please go ahead. This one's okay. If you want to read about that, please go ahead. Helicopter assault, though. As shown with the South African War, the usage of the helicopter has been proven as an effective means of conducting warfare. Luckily, the GGR's abundance of helicopters will allow us to test the usefulness of combat deployment of Valkyries in Europe. Serbia's significant swaths of mountainous terrain are the perfect region to deploy helicopters, as their agility and terrain capabilities will aid in our ability to bypass and advance through Eastern Europe. And good to go ahead. Nice. Just what we want to do, right? Just what we want to do. We have a little bit of fuel and that liberal victory in Canada. We'll see how long that's going to last. And we're going to call all of our allies in. Poor Serbs. Poor, poor Serbs. Yeah, no one cares, old fan. Literally, no one cares. 42,000, 50,000, 100,000 have died. Well, almost 100,000. And now it's 100 and... Almost 200,000. 
Wow. Is that all? Are we done yet? Why are you taking so long? They must be doing force defense or something. Come on. There you go. And that last division. There you go. Almost 200,000. Not bad. I have a choice. With the pieces in place, the Kriegsmarine off the coast, and the armies of the Reich all around the borders, and the loop off of Perim's and ready to fly, one can only feel a pang of sympathy and mutual feeling with the Finns, after all. They did aid us in the war against the Russians, and having such fierce fighters and Nordic men on our side would be only be a plus. Besides, with such a show of force along the border, they must be shaken in their boots with fear. There's no need for any German lives to be wasted over a nation which has served us as our proud ally and can serve as a friend again. Our big daddy himself has ordered operations to be stalled for a short period, enough to give the Finns an ultimatum. They now have a choice. Join the pact and cut off relations with enemy powers, and effect of becoming our ally again or be crushed under the German boot, become a re willing Reichskommissariat. While the military center governments such as Schorner have law before an immediate invasion, they have been muzzled for now. Now there's silence in the north. With bated breath, all of Germany waits for the Finnish response. Yeah, we all wait. We don't really have a big border here, so I'm actually not going to use these guys first. Um, I might actually call you guys over back. Back over. Because you guys are going to move very quickly. The Finns are not going to be super easy to beat, but they should be okay. Um, do we make these guys 40 combat width as well? I'm pretty sure we did, so. They're 40 combat width. And I want to throw on someone else here. So, uh, logistics. They use... they 5.85 is really bad. That's extremely bad. We gotta go... I, I gotta go logistics for those guys. Fall Shimmy, I get. We need to get some army XP, too. Ah, the conquest of Serbia. Serbia. Oh, Fall Pater as well. Oh, we're worried about this. The nation which caused endless troubles in the century was finally reclaimed by the Wehrmacht in the recent military operation. Like other parts of the Reich, when the father of the line was in fire, our military administration in Serbia was shattered to pieces. Only through the wisdom and courage of the Fuhrer and his loyal soldiers can we save the Reich and retake the lands of Serbia from those despicable, despicable Slavs. It is said that if you wish to eliminate the chaos, you need to find the source of it. You need, and history has shown us that the political situation in Serbia is a crux for all, all instability in the Balkans. If we can govern Serbia well, then we can have a stable Balkan peninsula in our sphere. And if we cannot, we will need to face endless rebellions and bloodsheds. The Reich's Commissariat of Balkan, Halud Binsel, led by General Leo Hep, will be tasked to rule those naughty Serbs. He will certainly make sure that no more, that no more shall they dare to challenge our governance. Now Serbia finally returns to our dominance. The whole world waits silently to see what our next target will be, but everyone is certain that no one in the Balkans can stand against the German nation's wrath. The hope the power keg of Europe won't explode anymore. But it probably is going to go kaboom someday. But I didn't look at Scandinavia yet. Look at that. Beautiful. You've got quite a forehead too, like Milch. And a chin and some weird eyes. Okay, Lem. You're doing okay, I guess, in our book for now. If that's the case, um, I'm actually going to use you guys as well. I want everyone else to train here, except for you guys. Because I want you to enable I want you guys to actually navally invade, so. Uh, you, you, and you. I'll sink you. You, two, three. The purdy. Cut him off. I want you to go Turku. And you're going to probably sacrifice yourself and go right there. There you go, cool. Good. Very good. Because if this doesn't go well, we can always just push up that way, so. Offer them a choice. A naval maneuvering would be nice, but we can probably wait for that. Lessons from Muscovy and lessons from Switzerland. How to deal with major defensive lines and how to spread them and spread discord and democracy. Lessons from Muscovy. Um, it's okay. If you want to read about that, please go ahead. I'm not going to choose that one. Uh, prepare the Marines. Um, can we still do that one? Yeah, we can, so that's good. Lessons from Switzerland. Even though, I do want to do this one first, though. The southward military migration. If there's one thing the Swiss were good at, it was bunkering down. These fortification rivals, even the heaviest part of our border, was Burgundy. And their effectiveness was proving the blood of German men. Simply letting these rot would be a shameful waste when, instead of using the gold we have acquired to build more forts, we could simply move whatever salvageable parts of the bunkers that are left to the Italian border and bolster the defenses there. By using trucks, trains, and Swiss labor, we can change those bunkers from useless concrete bricks to the strongest fortification line in all of Europe. Me Italy, metals, and Hungary. News reaches us from Budapest. It seems that Italy is meddling in Hungary, seeking to put pressure on the country to reorient their policy to suit Italian interests. Should we wish we can expand political capital to stop this from happening, keeping Hungary where we want them? If that, if that is, Hungary is worth the effort to keep to counteract the Italians, stop their attempt. Yeah, stop their attempt. Actually, we can probably go to war with Italy this way too. It's probably a little bit faster. It's better. And uh, ooh. hmm. You have 33 down there. It's a lot better. 
It's not great though. The army needs quite a bit, which is unfortunate. Um, there you go. Finland stands strong, unfortunately. Uh, when the ultimatum was set, every Wehrmacht unit on the Finnish border was placed under high alert. Thousands of planes were ready to fuel, and sailors sprinted their posts as the ships of the Rikrikmin stopped their moorings. All was quiet in the Baltic as hundreds of thousands awaited the inevitable. So when the inevitable came, the ultimatum returned with a refusal attached to it. The army of the Reich was ready. All at once, thousands of men received the notification that the entire world expected. A state of war now existed between Finland and the Reich, and it was the duty of every soldier to fight for its vital and to continue the glory of the Reich. Some were nervous when they heard this, some were resigned, so most, uh, most of the men did not care. This was but a simple conquest in a line of endless conquests, one that would eventually end in a titanic struggle against the West and East alike. What good did it do to worry over this invasion in particular? After all, there would be soon another one after it, then another, and of course another, another, another. And then so the men of Germany marched f uh, into another free nation, not for the glory for fame, but for the continuation of an endless loop. It was bound to happen one day, so. I want more fuel. I don't want to pay for it, though. Hmm. Are we good to go? Oh, is there something else new? Oh, please don't tell me there's something new. Oh, yeah, no, you're good. The military fortress. To benefit our performance in the impending German Italian war, we shall turn Serbia into a military fortress. This fortress shall not be metaphorical as Gibraltar or Singapore. We shall construct a giant line of advanced and proper fortifications to defend ourselves from potential Italian advance. By doing as such, we will be more prepared than ever to take down our Italian compatriots. Like sheep to the slaughter. Although the Wehrmacht has barely set foot in Serbia, we are already seeing the true face of the majority of the Serbian citizenry. While our star advance continues, a new generation of collaborators desperate for independence have flocked to our banner, flying the swastika with pride. These fools have already declared their allegiance to the GGR and have unwillingly planted the seeds of their own destruction. Nice. Hopefully we don't need to do an able invasion. I hope to God we don't. That costs so much fuel that we don't have right now. Okay, we don't have to. Great conspiracy. Nice. And that's it for these guys, too. Orchestrated riots. Well, if you want to read this one, please go ahead. And if you want to read this one, please, please go ahead as well. We don't really need to do those anymore. So it is what it is. The second surrender. We'll do that maybe eventually. Um, I do want to do this stuff back up here. Like, I, I don't want to stop doing that. But we have other things to do, but which sucks. It does suck. Norwegian remilitarization. That would be kind of cool. Prepare the Marines. I do like that one as well, but that's only for 200 days. Um, Rush to the landing point. It's coastal. Okay. We have landed on finished soil. We must reinforce the landing point as quickly as possible. If you wonder about that, please go ahead. As well as this one. Block of battalions. Um, I like this one. It's okay. It's not great. Um, Actually, yeah, I don't like this one. Hmm. If you want to read that about that, please go ahead. I'm not going to read that one. I don't want to do that one. That, I don't want to hurt guys too much, so. Anyone else on the, here on the right? Yes. Exploit their disunity. In truth, there's no such thing as brotherhood among thieves. When the ship is sinking, all the rats will happily kill and eat one another to escape and find safety. And so, two of the capitals of the Caucasus. Their alliances was always born out of convenience and out of the mutual contempt for a common enemy rather than any singular coherent ideological goal. Any sane men amongst them will see the writing on the wall and come over to our side, armed with the unending praise for goring and plenty of back taxes to contribute to the war effort. All we need to do is tell them of the opportunity to kill, turn tail and surrender, and most of them probably will. There are no riches to be made in defeat, of course. So, why should they? Why wouldn't they just give up? How many have we killed? All of them, 164,000, while taking only 107 divisions. Or manpower. That's not bad. In the east shore of the Gulf of Bothnia, locals remain silent in cold air as their troops move quickly, occupying their cities and villages. The land where the Finnish people reside is in, in is frozen, but no more frozen than their heart now. After being in, independent for 50 years, this land of thousands of lakes finally falls into another foreign power's hands, and now we Germans shall decide the fate of the nation. Unlike their Swedish neighbors, the Finns cannot be seen as our Germanic brothers due to their inferior bloodlines, which means we need to be more, more careful when establishing our own administrations. Meanwhile, their fierce resistance against Russians in the 1940s has proven that their heart of fighting is far hotter than their living environment. If we we want to use our abundant natural resources and industries as well as suppressing local guerrillas. We need to find accountable, uh, someone accountable for such a task. Let's hope that the General Hein Joag Lem and his Reichskommissariat can do the duty towards the Vaterland. Even in the far north part of Europe, the Wehrmacht's marching boot cannot be stopped, and the aurora and the high sky bear the greatness and vigilancy of the German nation. Anything there? Nah, nothing I really care about. Can't wait to take a sauna. 
And there we go. Too bad. Oh, you know what? Actually, that's really great. That's really great that these guys suck so hard that all they got was no Onega, and it was just demilitarized as well. So that's actually really great for us. Down here, not so much for these guys. Uh, actually, I'm going to send... We can send everyone. We can send everybody. That's exactly what we're going to do. I want you to be the breakout group, though. And we're gonna need this. We're gonna need this fuel now. Oh, gotta be on it. Yes. Okay. It's good. 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 Keep going with more refineries. Oh, this is a glitch or something right now. Look at all the stuff we can build, man. So much stuff we can build. Nice. Good. No collapse today, please, please, please. You guys just kind of hang out, have a good old time. Um, you guys go over there or something like that. That's fine. Cool. Alright, lesson from Switzerland. Exploit their disunity. Um, since we're here, make these guys 40 combo with. I don't care what it costs. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So supply is just so good. That's not bad. Look at all this stuff. Breakthrough is really good too, so. 40 combo with, that's fine with us. That is A-OK -okay with all of us, hopefully. Cool. They will be easy. Factory owners and businessmen do not make good military leaders. The environs of the Rocks Commissariat are mostly undefended, and the soldiers that do guard them are undertrained, undequipped, and pay as little as can be afforded. It's almost a shame to come across such a weak foe. There will be a little pride to be found in this victory. Well, it suffice with the material reward then, in the end. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah. A ballooning deficit, so. Medium influence, that's fine. I don't know how low we can go, though. And obviously we want to take out Sweden, too. So definitely Sweden eventually. One last chance. Actually, maybe we would wait. One last chance. Uh, many have already come to our side to fight. But a few brave or stupid men amongst the industrials of the Caucasus are still left op opposing their own fatherland and their own Fuhrer. They will be granted the extraordinary mercy of one final chance to lay down their arms, surrender, and beg for us for mercy they, that they do not deserve. Any who continue to resist us after this final plea will have all chosen to die. Yeah, we give them a choice. We give them choices and they refuse to take it. So who are we to but to oblige of what they want? You know? We're problem solvers. We solve problems. But some comments as well. Someone recommends that you know see with the GWRI that we get the, the Liger or Liger greatly decrease the loyalty. We'll try to. I'll try to. We'll see what happens because I don't know what this focus tree is like. If I can disable like time, eventually I'll probably will disable time so we can get every, literally everything done. But yeah, eventually we will do that. So I do want to tell you that though. we will probably get that stuff done um, and get the tank hopefully. Uh, someone says we should weaken the militarists and give Shorner the boot after eating Siberia. We can try. Yeah, totally. We can totally, tr totally, 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 totally try. So as long as we don't have a time limit right now, I don't know why. Hopefully it's just a thing about the second surrender. Hopefully. But as long as we can keep doing this, I'll be okay with this. Ooh, look at this. The Swiss guerrilla war ends. After many skirmishes, raids, and acts of sabotage, it appears that the Swiss army guerrilla campaign across their former homeland has come to a close. German soldiers walking down the street without being fired upon, supply trucks refurbishing garrisons not being blown sky high, and a lack of assassinations of anybody by the think of Unteroffizier. This has been one of the calmest weeks ever seen in the new German territory. This, of course, did not occur by random chance. Many are declaring this apparent end of the Swiss guerrilla war a success. Many of the Oval Commandos say that it was their anti-guerrilla training and adaptation that led to the end of the guerrillas, while many of the in the local administration over the new Swiss territories. Thank the efforts of welcoming and accepting the Swiss into the Reich through integration as a main cause. Either way, one thing is for certain. Peace may now finally dawn on Switzerland. Another victory for the Reich. Yes. Well, duck it up, but really sucks. I really screwed us over with that pretty badly. Civilian construction speed is extraordinarily bad. Holy crap. So we were losing weekly manpower and weekly stability and some war support and daily political power costs. Jesus, that sucks. This will be easy. Goodbye to the greedy. The invasion commences soon. The smoggy skies of Calcasine shall be bolstered by the smoke of the thousands of tanks, trucks, and planes arriving to restore German ownership of this wayward colony. Perhaps the fat cats in the expense of suits will look upon the Wehrmacht, uh, coming down on them and have left and have time left to regret their disloyalty. Or perhaps the first bomb dropped in the city will kill them instantly and destroy all the riches they have accumulated in their short, sad lives. No one will ever know what goes through those greedy men's minds in their final moments. We can only hope that they will all die before too much of their factory line floors are blown apart. It'd be too good to have something left to loot. 
Italy and France denounce the German language. Culture has long been a nationalist battleground, but this is ridiculous. Italy and their puppet, the French state, have issued a statement in which they denounce the German language as inferior to the Romance languages in every way. In a detailed announcement, written by the so-called linguistic experts and endorsed by the two governments, the German language is described as crass, generally incoherent, and essentially a dude dialect. It goes on to outline the inferiority of our contributions to literature and concludes with a footnote discouraging the teaching of German within our territories unless this is to draw the deficiencies of Germanic in comparison with Latin-derived languages. Our foremost cultural emissaries, or eminences, agree that the statement is a grave insult. Not that this was difficult to elicit, of course. Those dudes. Ah, oh, those dudes. Welcome back to the Reich. The Reich's commissary at Calcasin has come back home to Germany. An interim military order is returned to the colony, and all active uh, resistance from the former regime has been eliminated. Many of the natives will still begrudge or continue to plunder of their homeland. But their discontent can be controlled by enough men with guns marching down the streets. Now, it's time for us to make the important decision of how the fruits of their labor will be collected and whether Calcasia will be a fruit to be plucked or a garden to be cultivated. Back under the Reich's control, however, all oil fields have been greatly damaged. Azerbaijan's level of oil has been reduced by 28, while all Caucasus have been reduced by 7. Well, that sucks. But we have to do something else before that. Burn the golden fields. Mm, I like that one. Get more stability. As part of the initial plan for New World Order, the Reich's Commissar Ukraine is meant to be a settlement for German people that can provide endless grains and other natural resources for the German Reich. However, our exploitation of Ukraine was disrupted by Heramans, uh, Heramanas uh, Preserve Acts, and it's all thanks to the fierce courage and wisdom that we can take it back. Now, it's time to make everything return to the rightful places. All ridiculous and vicious policies made by Harima, including those about native rights and racial reconciliation, will immediately be abolished, and the German people who keep loyal to their legitimate government will be granted their lost privileges. This time, the Aryan race will be the master of Ukrainian it fuels for more than thousands of years. Nice. Now we'll just go straight on in. Now, obviously, we're not going to win there immediately, but call everyone else and we'll, be, and we'll be golden. Nice and delicious. Oh, look at that. Do we finish up all those oil fields? I don't think so. When in doubt, get more oil out. We're almost perfect there. Actually, I don't mind getting one more of this. That's... Do we really need 100? Oh, Jesus Christ. Um, I don't want to increase that from those guys sued Africa. So let's just do it from like Republic of India or something like that. There you go. Let the infantry handle this time. And you guys just float on in and do whatever you can. Next time, I'll make these guys thicker. I want to make sure that the transport helicopters are really good. So, Actually, how did the helicopters doing? Go straight to Baku, guys. You'll be fine, probably. You will honestly probably be okay. Or just cut them off and just encircle them here. That's also fine with me, too. But hey, if we don't have time... I mean, it's so nice not having a time limit. I didn't disable it at all. It just It is what it is, as you saw earlier. Nice. This is all for the American Navy. I swear to God. I'm going to hate fighting the American Navy so much. So much. You guys good? Go and train. Well, actually, Calcasia is subdued. Calcasia is ours. Our troops have finally taken the former Rex Commissar. Although seemingly an inconsequential conquest, it should be noted that its vast oil reserves will be the envy of Europe. Already, the Rex is working on securing the oil fields and evaluating the damage done. All of them may come online soon, but whatever happens, the crude oil will no doubt fuel the Rex tanks, plants, and an economy. The oil is secure. Nice. And welcome to the Reich. Eastern Switzerland pacified. Look at that! Wow! After tying up some resources for far too long, the Oba Commandos received reports from local garrisons and police forces in eastern Switzerland, home to a large population of Germans that talk of the great success regarding the pacification efforts in the areas. Many industrialists and top military officials have been ecstatic about the wide range of political of potential opened up as a result of this great triumph. Many businessmen have noted the higher willingness of the Swiss in the eastern regions to work with the German businesses and investors that are moving and following the territorial acquisition. Now, at the same time, recruitment numbers in eastern Switzerland have had record highs with reports noting some glimmer of enthusiasm for the new government. Although maybe but one region of Switzerland, this is a major breakthrough in the great effort to integrate the Swiss into the Glorious Reich. There's still much work ahead for the fear of pacification or further pacification of Switzerland. So let us be an encourage, encouraging glimpse of what can be hoped to be a newer, brighter future of the Reich's territories. Welcome to the Reich! Look at that! That's awesome. Love it! Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. I'm going to give you guys a have to do 12. What do we do with that? Somehow it just works out. So, somewhat. Um, I don't want to delete you. I really don't. 25? Actually, what do we have here? You three? Yeah, you're not very good. So, actually, I'm going to get rid of one of you then. Goodbye, thank you. How many tanks do we have? Not enough, but we're close. We're actually really, really close, which is really nice. Go and train. Now you're all just helicopters. That's awesome. I love it. Slovak state, Croatia. Uh, who's next? I guess Sweden technically would be pretty much next, right? 
Wait. Yeah. Good. Good. Oh, we got six more ships. Nothing. I want another task force, though. Welcome back to the Reich. If you want to read about this, please go right ahead. Nice. And then we'll do repurposing their prosperity, or property. The main objective of our war was to take control of the Baku oil field, so it was only logical that this industry will be the main focus of our building efforts as well. The surviving engineers, technicians, and laborers of the Caucasus will be put to work in Baku, restarting captured undam or damaged wells, fixing destroyed pipelines, and generally getting the oil flowing again. The boon this will provide to our engine of war is worth restating. The petroleum industry was born in Baku for good reason. These wells have kept Germany supplied for decades, and the loss during the Berka Creek was singularly responsible for the more logistical issues and delays in supply than the loss of any other resource. Once the drills are drilled, the pumps are pumping again at full capacity. Germany's natural resource stockpile will largely be restored to its pre-war might. Our enemies ought to take ought to shake in the boots at the thought. Pretty much. No, oh, no wonder we can't take it because I I'm already doing another one. My bad. And these guys, these forty combat with people, they do have supply, which is good. Good. Salt and loot. Ooh. Remove a lot of factories. Wow. Increase loyalty to the militarists. Um, an act of clemency. I do want to help them out. I don't want to lower our, any more loyalty, though. Back in business. Six, so basically 19 versus 11. Um, I do want to increase the loyalty. I'm not sure how loyal we, we need them. I'll be honest. So, I, th I don't mind doing this one. I mean, I like this one. I really do. You get 10,000 manpower, which is like nothing. But... That's not a lot of fuel. We're going to honestly make that fuel with um, just refinery salt. Maybe salt and loot. All the riches of the Caucasian are ours to the taking. The industrial equipment of the ruined factories will be disassembled and shipped to the Rhineland. And the slaves that toil in their mines and oil fields will be carted around the rest of the Reich to bolster production elsewhere. And the remaining gold in the coffers of the Fallen will be sent right back to the vaults in Germania. All that was once theirs is ours again, such as a prerogative as conquerors. Uh, conquerors. Yeah. All it does, it does increase their influence of power. I don't mind the loyalty. But anything other than that is not very buoyant for us. So. I could be completely wrong, though. Don't quote me on anything here. But except getting better tanks. We need to really focus on that, too. Central Switzerland is pacified. More exciting news has just been reported back to the OPA Commando. The pacification of programs in Central Switzerland have finally been uh, declared successful by the local authorities administering the effort. As German businesses and military recruiters flock to the new territories, they are most pleased to be witnessing the success seen in the efforts to soothe tensions between the Reich and its new Swiss citizens. This milestone shows that even the heart of one was a vest of venomous, rabidly anti-German dogs can transform under the guidance of the Reich. As expected, that I can expect an influx of new Swiss recruits to join in on the future efforts to project German influence not only in Europe, but across the globe. With Bayern now safely under the thumb of the Reich, surely the rest of the Swiss people will make peace with the new leaders. Not even the heart of Switzerland can stand defiant. Except for the wells. The singular industry of substantial strategic use in Calcassine, as a petroleum industry in Baku. The production of oil, oil is essential for the continued war effort of the Reich, and so they should be allowed to continue to produce a bounty mostly unimpeded. We show no such reservations for the rest of the Reich's commissariat. The slaves and factories are ours for the taking. The just rewards of our great victory over the traitors. If anyone objects to the expropriation of the property to the Reich, perhaps they should have thought twice before siding against us. Pretty much. Don't look at the debt. That is but a number. It is but a number. Follow it up with what? I want to do more stuff here too. Actually, right now we could probably not boost the military budget. If we actually cut civilian spending, we'd actually be okay. Uh, actually, eh, only fifteen percent. Eh, you know what? Leave it. Leave it where it is. Cause actually, we're doing pretty well with construction. I don't mind maybe building another city or two. Actually, there you go. Build some cities too. Except for the wells. Yeah, we want to do Sweden. I, I just, it's time to do Sweden, man. It's just time to do Sweden. Romania's dead. New enemies, of course. Occupation work is tiring. That's very true. Um, that's if we can wait. Lapland? Ooh. Rush to the landing point. So, I mean, obviously, if you want to do this one again, please go right ahead. There you go. I'll do that one. There you go. Whee! A chance of redemption. The Finns have been beaten. We'll grant them another chance to surrender and spare the people the hordes of war. Um, well, if you want to about this, please go right ahead. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's already done. So, cool. Towards Sweden... Northern tank experiments. Three armor technologies. I like that. Towards Russia. Extend the Oswald. Yeah. If you want to do this one, please go right ahead. If you want to do this one, please go right ahead as well. But we're going to do it towards Sweden. With the finish line having been laid low by the sword of the hair. Ha the hair. Our gaze now turns to the other big cat of Scandinavia, the Swedish Tiger. The Swedes have watched our us... Ob 
our obliteration of the Finns with dread and shock, and subsequently have heavily reinforced their border, and it's only fair that we do the same. After all, they're undoubtedly to be the one of our next targets. With staging grounds, airfields, and fortifications building on the border, we will prime ourselves for a strike directly into the heart of the tiger that has defied a rule for so long, doing something that Hitler himself could never do. Very good. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And except for the wells, it would be good to get done as well. Thank you very much. And Northern Tank Experience, because this is going to be important for us to do. Cur curious, a curious, extremely frustrating and dangerous flaw has come to our attention during the invasion of Finland. Our tanks, famously reliable in Central and Southern Europe, seem to struggle mightily with engine and heating problems in the frigid Northern Tundras. These problems directly led to the death of multiple brave tank crews, who had the extreme misfortune of their tanks breaking down in the middle of heated engagements. This is absolutely unacceptable, but we must also contend with the issue that this problem is, is a problem that is specific to the far north, and is needlessly expensive and useless anywhere else. Uh, therefore, we have elected to test out a new uh, variation of our tanks, complete with extra heating, padding, and snow camouflage. These tanks, once run through the trials, promise to never have the problems that, that our standard tanks do have, and will undoubtedly save hundreds of lives in the upcoming invasion. Romandi and Tessino pacified. The Oba Commandos reported what looks to be the greatest breakthrough yet seen in the Reich's Swiss pacification efforts. The populations in the regions of Romandi and Tessino have officially declared to be pacified following the persistent endeavors to bring them under the totality or total authority of Germania. The atmosphere of these regions appear to have been successfully tranquilized, allowing new German industries to flourish. To the shock of many military experts, even some of the French and Italian residents appear to show some interest in joining the Reich's armed forces. This grand display shows the potential, great potential, in the seeds of the Reich's future, for even the most stubborn population cannot hold out against the will of Ein Volk, Ein Lerich, Ein Führer, Ein Papa, Daddy Goring. Let Switzerland be an example of the world to behold, an example of how the strongest of forts, the toughest of resolves, the most determined of institutions, all fail before the power of the Reich. <clears throat> Good. I don't know how I Italy's doing this, but Romania is dead. But the news has reached us uh, Italy is attempting to secure a military alliance with Romania, drawing that country into its orbit. This will be a diplomatic coup indeed, and should we wish, we can act with strength to prevent the challenge of expanding their sphere of influence. Probably going to stop them, right? So, now their approval is medium, right? So, 60%. Okay, it's a little higher. Not much, but it's a little higher. And lessons from Finland. A freezing weather is probably the most powerful weapon Sweden can wield against its invaders. Impassable roads, supply shortage, trembling soldiers. During the war against Russia, we've learned how many troubles it can cause to our armies. But luckily, the recent conquest of Finland has started to fight in the cold of Scandinavia. Food, clothes, fuel, all kinds of supply and the soldiers need for the winter... We will be fully prepared when the invasion begins. We're now confident to declare that the general winter is nothing before the wisdom of the Fuhrer himself. Nice. Winter. Eh, some of these guys will get better stuff. I don't know. I don't really care. It's only December. It's only winter, right? I'd love to see this all in, but there's a lot there's a lot of focuses we cannot do. I don't like that we had to rush through all the stuff and we and we couldn't do some of the stuff. I don't I, I don't like that. Uh, obviously some of them we could have done, but still. The Brother War. After all preparations we've made before, now is the time for the invasion to, to truly become and finish and start. Our brave soldiers, panzers, fighters, and bombers, and ships will start their attacks once the orders are received. Some may ask, why should we do this to a Nordic nation generally considered to be our Aryan brothers? Yes, we must admit that this war will be a war between brothers. But the, when the little brother is deceived and misguided by the common enemies, it is big brother's responsibility to correct the little brother's mind, even if it requires some blood to be shed. If not us, then who? If not now, when? Good questions always ask. It's almost 1972. Um, here. No. Here. Ooh, that's not bad. Torpedo attack is pretty good. Ooh, we'll keep more torpedoes. Sustain critical hits. Ah, uh, let's get advanced landing craft first. I think that's pretty useful as well. Pretty darn useful. Lots and lots of fuel. Because when we're done... Because I do want to build some more civvies up. I want a bigger industry. Obviously, we've got a lot of millies. And it takes forever to get those civvies done because of the, what we have. But still. War on the home front. The weakness of democracy lies in the weakness of... Oh, that's really fast. Uh, the war is proving very popular amongst the German populace. Intense propaganda campaigns. Will we me to this? Fire, fire with fire. Oh, I like that. Oh, wait. Oh, we didn't have the Odin program. Oh, that sucks. <clears throat> Only the most loyal collaborators. After a victory over the hated Norwegians, collaborators of old have come crawling out of the woodwork in support of our return. Some have the humility to plead for forgiveness for the treachery. Other more brazen ones have the gall to claim that they remain loyal to the Reich since the dissolution of Norwegian. These fools seem to think that we have just not watched the Norwegian situation with a close eye ever since then. Of course, we haven't, not with all the action we've been having back in the Reich. But that does not mean we should tell the truth. After all, it's only looked bad for the Reich to admit that it hasn't been paying attention to its rightful lands instead. Our Fero has conceived a brilliant idea. We will dole out punishments to all those who we deem traitors, regardless of whether they have actually betrayed us or not. After all, a good German should be able to sniff out the true Aryans from the pack of wolves and liars in the first place. At the end of this purge, we should theoretically be left with a strong, sturdy, and loyal pack of politicians and generals to restart the Reich's commissariat with. Well, found boosted up. Are we still training, guys? Yeah, probably stop doing that. There you go. 
I got more millies. Okay, are we missing anything besides like tanks? Because that's is that the only thing that'd be good if that's the only thing. Tanks, cool. Tactical bombers, about whatever. Tanks. I skipped tanks. Uh, you can go ahead and grab some from them. No. There you go. And that's okay with us. They don't look good, but it's just because they had 40 combo with, so. Alright, not bad. We're taking quite a few losses because it's infantry versus these guys, but whatever. We're just here to keep them in place. I'm, I'll be honest. Like That's that's mostly why. But once they start cracking, they're, gonna, they're just going to straight up die, so. Did I not give you orders? Oh, that's pretty bad of me. Oh, 30,000 losses. 108,000. That's not enough. And they're gone. The conquest of Sweden. Flying over the royal palace of stock on the swastika flag now st stands as a shining symbol of our total victory against Sweden. Though we met more obstacles than our previous expectation in these weeks, the Operation Hansa eventually proves to be another great triumph for the Reich. Though there's still guerrilla activities in the countryside and forest, overall we can proudly announce that the whole Swedish nation has finally joined the Germanic brothers after the millennia of separation. <clears throat> But even though the military operations succeed at present, our work is still far from over to utilize local manpower, industries, and resources. We need to establish an effective administration over our newly conquered lands on Scandinavia. Just like other nations, those Swedes will be governed by a Reichskommissariat established by the Reich with the revered General Heinz Georg Lem as leader. <coughs> a well-known man who is devoted to the National Socialist cause will sure, surely govern this land as well and integrate local Swedes into the new Germanic Vaterland, and for now, let's rejoice in the glory of the Reich and the unity we have of our Aryan nations. May the Swedish timbers and the irons be made into swords, and the Swedish people be made into berserkers against the Reich's enemy. See, Kyle. Welcome to your family, little Swedish brother. Welcome, 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 indeed. Good. I love it. I'm glad we got Scandinavian done. Scandinavia. Only most loyal collaborators, North Sea Oil, and would it be bad? I stayed in the Swedes. Well, if you want to do about that, please go ahead. We can't do that anymore. It's just noise, gosh darn it. Wait, Odin program. What is Odin program? I'll do it because uh, that's that's really nice. Military steroid use. Yay! I don't think we had that one yet. If we don't have any more things to do for the time, I want to do all this stuff like before we do it, have to do anything else. So, um, I want to come back over here and try something else. The power of the atom. Uh, the decrease based upon corruption in the amount of pipes built. Military power. Military oh, perfection. Uh, we have furthered the cause of science. Yes, we have. The GGRCI's scientific recommendations have served to assist the GGR in achieving considerable scientific process. As our survey suggests, and will continue to suggest, unless the Board of Statistics wish to bring a corporate lawsuit on their collective heads, our decisions have made the public far stronger, and the Aryan man even more Aryan as a result of our experimentation. Our researchers have reported a 15% increase in the luminosity of smiles received by the general public. Needless to say, the Reich's future is bright. We have achieved complete and utter total perfection. They will not grow old. What, if you want to read about that, please go right ahead. War on the home front. If you want to read about that, please go right ahead. All right, and we will conclude this episode with the second surrender. Now I'm going to wait. North Sea oil, of course. With the reconquest of Norway, we have gained access to the many natural resources lying inside of the, of the mountains. At first glance, this would seem to be all that Norway offered the Reich. However, upon some inspections, research, and the preliminary drilling, our scientists and engineers have discovered a veritable ocean of black gold underneath the waves of the North Sea. These reserves, previously untapped, are vast, giving us an impressive oil reserves of our own to rival that of the Saudis and the Italians. Not only will this be new oil enough to power our war machine for years, but there is likely enough to keep a surplus, even to sell some to overseas. Needless to say, the fear is ecstatic over the news, and extensive drilling has begun fast track to begin but if you enjoyed this video guys leave a like subscribe if you're new check out my discord link in the description below we've accomplished a lot all of these guys look at that ice back i mean it's not as great as it could be but we're working on it, guys like we we did really great i love it we got gauntland now ukraine's looking not too bad muscovines of course already here but all of these guys are now under us we have taken out england we've taken out or we have ireland under our control the balkans are looking tremendous and we've got our oil reserves back so over, all in all i think it's been really great but like you said like the video if you like it. Cool. Thanks for watching, guys. And I will see you tomorrow as we'll continue conquering and not collapsing. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.